there are two iconic, nostalgic, like, movies and actresses that are trending right now, and I wanted to hop on this because I'm so excited and I love recreating outfits and I feel like these two things, one's a movie and one's an actress, are iconic and deserve to be recreated. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, welcome back if you haven't been. Today we are recreating Mean Girls and Anne Hathaway's iconic outfits from movies because Mean Girls is trending because there's a new Mean Girls movie coming out with Renee Rapp, which I love her. But I'm also recreating Anne Hathaway's outfits because she's trending also and for good reason. She just turned 41 and she looks like this. So I decided to head to the thrift store. If you want to see my vlog, it's going to be posted on my vlog channel. But I went to the thrift store and I looked for iconic original Mean Girls outfits as well as some Anne Hathaway outfits from some of her various movies. Obviously, these aren't going to be perfect recreations. They are like more realistic recreations. When I do outfit recreations, I try to show how you can model someone's style but in a way that's easier to wear. Let's go ahead and just get started instead of me talking the whole time. Let's I have not yet figured out where the camera is best in this room so we're working with it. So let's get straight into it. So I want to start with none other than the iconic Katie Heron outfit and I actually found one of these at the thrift store when I went thrifting the other day and I had one in my closet from thrifting previously. I ended up finding this red long sleeve because she does wear a red long sleeve. I was trying to find one with buttons so bad, didn't have luck. And I couldn't find a plaid skirt that really matched hers, but I do have this one that I bought at a thrift store a couple of months ago, and I felt like it kind of emulated the same vibe. So let's try this on, and I do happen to have tall black boots. I know they're not heeled, but it'll give the same vibe. And again, we're recreating these in a way that I would actually wear them, so let's get this on. I'm so happy about this outfit. I feel like it's perfect, like... <laughs> For being from the thrift store, this is pretty dang good. It's much more something that I would wear rather than like the short pleated skirt. I think it's so cute. It's definitely not as cute with not pointed boots, but like the outfit itself, I love. This shirt's so cute. I feel like it actually, I could actually wear this. I obviously bought this skirt in the past because I felt like I could actually wear it. I'm really excited about this one. I think like this one's cute. Next, I want to move on to Kat's outfit. I couldn't find her exact outfit, but I was pretty proud with what I did find. She wears a pink long sleeve shirt with like a plain pink skirt. I did find this light pink long sleeve shirt, which I feel like is the perfect color. I don't have a little blue bow to go with it, but if I did, it'd be perfect. I could not find a solid pink skirt, but I found this one and I would actually wear this one. I think it's so cute. And I did try this one on, so it does fit. So excited. Let's get into Kat's outfit because I'm a mouse. Duh. Here is Kat's outfit. I feel like this is actually really cute. It is slightly see-through, so ignore that. But like, are you getting the vibes? I don't have heels like theirs, but I do have these little pink heels that I ended up finding. And I feel like they look really cute. Let me angle the camera. I feel like these little pink heels look really cute with them and they're pink like Mean Girls. I love this outfit. This might be one of my favorites because I feel like it's the most wearable and I usually don't put a lot of pink together. This one's cute. Moving on to Gretchen Wiener's iconic pink outfit. I struggled the most with this outfit, which is funny. I could not find a pink that matched her shirt whatsoever, but I ended up at the last minute finding this one. I know it's not exactly the same style. It is a button up. It's not a long sleeve, but it is like a similar color, which is what was important to me. And I have not tried the skirt on. I feel like it looks a little bit too business, but I feel like it might look cute. She's wearing a plaid skirt and this one is plaid. I think I'm just going to take the belt off of it and hope that it fits, but I felt like this together emulated Gretchen Wieners. This one is definitely my least favorite so far. I feel like it's the least like her outfit. I did end up rolling the skirt up a little bit just because it was a little bit too long and I took the belt off, but I just feel like I'm not vibing with this one as much. I do like the things separate. I don't like them together. Let me show you the skirt all the way. I just feel like I'm going to work 
And finally, we have the queen of the group, Regina George. She is just wearing a white tank top, a pink cardigan, and a black leather skirt. I could not find a black skirt, which you would think would be the sim simplest thing, but maybe that's why I couldn't find it. I ended up finding this black skirt, which I did try it on the other day, and it doesn't exactly fit, but I'm hoping I could get it on at least for the video. We'll see. A pink cardigan. I actually had to go to a second thrift store just to find a pink cardigan because I was like, I can't do mean girls if i don't have regina george and if i already had a pink cardigan here that would be a different story but i didn't so i ended up finding this pink cardigan at another thrift store and a plain white tank top because i didn't want to get a graphic one i knew i would never wear it so this is my regina george outfit here is regina george's outfit it's definitely not the closest thing in the world i feel like i got really close on katie and um cat's outfits and then regina and Gretchen's were not as good because the skirt's really hard to find. The skirt is definitely a little bit too small. This cardigan is super cute. It definitely gives the idea, but it's not perfect. I still really like it though. I think it's cute. Now that we're all done with Mean Girls, let's move on to Anne Hathaway's outfits, which I think are so iconic and I'm so excited with what I found. So the first outfit that I tried to like replicate was the Ocean's 8 outfit. Now I knew going into this that I wouldn't find that exact style red dress and that wasn't my intention. I wanted to find one that I could actually wear for other events. So I ended up finding this one, which I think is super cute. And again, I haven't tried on. And this burgundy leather jacket I actually bought for my birthday last month and I bought it from Depop. So it still counts as a thrifted jacket. I just think this is so cute. Again, I'm gonna skip the shoes because I really don't own heels, but let's try this on and get really red. Okay, this dress is risky. I'm holding it up because it is falling all the way down. Um, but here's the outfit. I'm trying not to move too much because it's also very short. I feel like the vibe is there. This dress is just not it for me. Like if The I next outfit that I decided to emulate is Devil Wears Prada, which I love that movie. There were so many different outfits that I could choose from. I really wanted to go with the green outfit, but I couldn't find anything. So I just had a bunch of different choices and I went with what I could find. So I ended up getting this outfit, which has like the black tights and the black boots. I ended up buying this black dress, which is totally usually not my style, but I feel like I tried it on in the dressing room and it was really cute. This is the very first thing I found when I walked in and I was like, oh, perfect. So I just went with this outfit. It is a black trench coat and I could definitely wear this all winter long. I feel like it's so cute. I'm gonna wear the same black boots that I wore for Katie Heron's outfit. Let's get this on and turn into Devil Wears Prada. Okay, so I didn't go get my tights because I didn't have any that didn't have holes in it. But here is the Devil Wears Prada outfit. It is just a black dress with a black coat and my boots. If I had like my big bag, it was buried. We're renovating, so it's somewhere. But like if I had my big bag, I feel like it would be even cuter. But like this is so easy to wear and I feel like it's just cute together. And the last outfit that I'm going to recreate is this dress from The Hustle. I don't think I have black heels, but I will check. This one I just did for fun. I knew I wasn't going to find a black dress like this, but I ended up finding this one, which I was like, should I buy that? Will I ever wear it? And it was really hard to get on because it doesn't have a zipper. But I ended up trying this one on and it was fine. It's fun. And me and my girlfriends do themed parties all the time. And I figured like I'll end up wearing this at some point. I just think it's so cute and it emulates like that baddie vibe like she has from the movie. It's not as baddie as hers are, hers is, but we're still gonna try it. And here's my hustle dress. Again, I feel like if it was cinched, let me hold it like this. It would definitely give more of that vibe. I just need to like tailor it and bring it in because I feel like that is so much prettier and more flattering than the way it is. So like I just need to bring it in, but I feel like this is so iconic. <laughs> I've never bought a dress like this at the thrift store. I just feel like it's out of my box. I wanted to try something new and yeah, I kind of like it. And that is it for today's video. Let me know which of these outfits from these iconic 2000s and 2010s movies was your favorite. Let me know if you're excited for the new Mean Girls or not looking forward to it because I've heard both sides. Yeah, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me know what thrifting challenge you want to see in the comments below. I know I'm going to go to their 50% off clothing day. So if you have a challenge, let me know and I will do it that day. And I will see you next time. Bye!